You guys know I don't ever tell my business and I don't ask for money and I don't ask for help. But if you know, you know Saturday, me and Tyler literally almost died in the apartment. The apartment almost burned down. Um, and then to yesterday, we have a five-day notice on our door. Why? Because corporate said that I'm a hazard to other tenants. And supposedly in my lease, which I've been here for a year and a half, we're not allowed to have candles on premises. That they were lying, I'm about to put in a screenshot, it literally says that we're not allowed to have candles on premises. So not, I don't have 30 days, I have five days. I have Monday to get $2,500 to move into a new apartment. And even if we do go ahead and pay $350 weekly, saying even if we do pay $354 a week we still need at least in a seagull we still need two weeks because you can't get inside no apartment in less than a week because that background check takes two weeks and of course you know during all this I'm still a business owner so still gotta package orders my business cannot pay for my rents it only pays for his website fees products and that's it <laughs> I don't like asking for money but I'm about to start a GoFundMe page because what the fuck am I about to do? And for people who hit me with it, just live in your car. It's 115 degrees outside in Las Vegas. Do that shit if you want to, you will die. And I have a cat. Please help me. Please help me. <laughs> and it's not, I have all the proof for everything. Like, please help me. Don't start the GoFundMe contemplating it. Here's my cash up if you want to help. Um, like I said, 2,500 to three grand, <laughs> kind of by Monday. Um, everything is beyond appreciated. I promise everyone who donate, I will give the money back somehow. I promise you, if it's not gonna be a raffle, if I'm not about to give away gift cards for my store, I'm gonna give the money back somehow. Please help me, like, please.